Programming tier list. First, Python. Python is the GOAT, but... Hmm. Already coming in with Python, saying it is the GOAT. I mean, there's a lot of good things about Python. Okay, where is he putting this? I guess I knocked back for being slow, so A tier. Okay, next. <sighs> Here's the problem with the Python as an A tier. Who here has a CSV and you need to get a quick graph? You need to get a little quick graph of that CSV. Okay, Python. The thing is, is Python is 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 nothing but doo doo tier until it's S tier. I feel like you either had to put it at the bippity bottom or the tippity top, right? There's like there's just no in between for Python. It's either the most useful thing in this moment or it is the least useful language you've ever used, and that always seems to be the case. I don't know where people get this idea that it's somehow in the middle. It's not a middle language. It will never be a middle language. It's the best or the worst simultaneously until you observe it. C++, I'm scared of C++, but it's going S tier. My man. Coding with Lewis, my man. What are you doing? With, what, what, what are you doing here, Lewis? Why, why are you doing that? Why are you putting C++? Okay, Rust minus minus was never meant to be S tier, okay? It is only C tier at best. because it's everywhere okay bash makes you look really badass but hard to maintain so c tier <sighs> i've never disagreed with a list so thoroughly in my lifetime i have never disagreed with the list so thoroughly i don't even know what to do with this i have a general simple rule which is if you are writing an array in bash you've gone too far it's as simple as that JavaScript was fine, but TypeScript, way better. So, object, object here. Okay, PHP. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. There we go. Saved. Saved. Uh, this is saved. This is way better. This is way better. I love this. Everyone wants to say F tier for PHP, but PHP devs drive Lambos. So, B tier. Sweet. All of a sudden, I'd feel less saved. You know, I feel like PHP is not quite B tier. Uh, I'm not even sure where to put PHP. I'd probably put it under the same category as I'd put HTML as a programming language, okay? Swift. One word, emojis as variables. That means your code looks like this. D tier. Okay, Rust, I understand the hype. But Whoa! What am I doing in this video? What am I doing in here? Okay, hey, hey, hey. That's pretty good, okay? If this, if... You better, you... Coding with Lewis? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna... Tw this isn't, this is gonna be A tier. You already know he's gonna put it at A tier just to hurt me. Just to emotionally hurt me. Let's slow down a little bit, okay? A tier for now, Matt. I hate this. Oh, why did I do this to myself? Lab F tier. <laughs> At least he nailed MATLAB. Okay, he did a good job on MATLAB and JavaScript, okay? Can we all agree that this was pretty good? Okay, actually, I really like this one, except for the fact I'm still so... Okay, I... Why is Rust minus minus... Why is that an S tier language? Why? Zero cost abstraction. Safety. Performance. You get to tell people you're writing it in Rust. I use Rust, by the way. No, you can't say those words, okay? You can't say any of those words with C++, okay? I get to hear you talk about your project, and I get to interrupt you mid-sentence and say, did you use Rust, by the way? And if you say no, I can tell you about the project I'm writing in Rust and completely disregard everything you've ever said, okay? That is an S-tier language.
the fact that you can do that, there's nothing more beautiful than that, okay? The conversation always wins. All roads lead to rust, and you need to accept that right now. Right now.